Look, I'm trying to talk to her, but... I would like to, it just haven't yet. It's fun, clever guy. I think you would like it. Go closer? Really? That was it! <laughs> what are you doing? I wasn't trying to trick you. Mm-hmm. It be the ones where they're not trying to trick you where it becomes real smooth and slick. What can I do for you? Shut up. I need... Can somebody write this down? I need 4,000 grams of gold. 4,000 grams of gold. A hundred stone. A hundred stone and three hundred wood. All right. That's my first. 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 That's my first.
Howdy, howdy. How'd it do? Welcome to another live stream. Today we're wearing the cowboy hat because we're talking about my home state of Kansas. That's right, we have a cowboy hat because we're rooting to and bringing you the news. There's some news that I want to get to today, but, uh, but yeah. Um, I found this cowboy hat at like a Native American, uh, at a Native American thing. Oh, my hair's all messed up now. Okay. All right, I have a skit that I've been practicing that we're gonna do for the new, as our new YouTube intro. So I'm excited to show you guys. I've, I've been practicing it. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing good. I've been a chill day at work. Oh yeah, Native American Powell. That's where we got the hat at. Um, but it's been a chill day at work for me. Been getting stuff done. Been productive. Um, I hope you all have been productive too. Um, been thinking about what we're gonna do on stream today, and I decided we're gonna. Fin I hope we're close to beating Stray. Um, and there's some news things that we want to talk about, and then I'm also going to start playing a, a new game that I've been watching a lot called Dinkum, and it's a mix of Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. So. Yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, quick update, there's not gonna be a stream on this Friday, and there might, tentatively, there's gonna be a stream on Sunday night, but that's tentative. Um, so, just something to be aware of. I know I have it scheduled, but I'll keep you guys updated on, on, on stream, so, or on, on Discord. So if you want to find out more about what's happening this weekend, just, uh, yeah, keep an eye out on Discord. Other than that, um, let's get right into the news. Isn't that what, isn't that what uh, a notorious uh, YouTuber says? Let's get right into the news, right? Isn't that what he does, Keemstar? Uh, let me share my screen with y'all, right? So, big day today in politics. I don't know if y'all care. I don't care if you care. But the midterms are happening. What is a midterm? Well, in the United States, where I am living, we have a two-party system. Um, there's multiple parties, but there's two parties that dominate. And when you go and vote, there's two types of elections. There's the midterm, and then there's the primary. Wait, did I have that right? Okay, so there's like a midterm where you vote within the party, so you'll vote within the Democratic a party for for um for a candidate uh between like the, the party and then the same thing happens on the republican side so you'll vote in, in like a republican primary um and so a midterm is uh a presidential cycle is four years but there's an election that happens every two years in that in that cycle so the midterm is like two years into a presidency when the president is not up for election, but everyone else is up for election. That's what a midterm is. And that's what's happening uh, this year. Uh, and one I'm very interested in is Kansas, because I don't know if you know, but one of the hot button topics in our day and age is women's autonomy, women's bodily autonomy. And I've been thinking a lot about how to cover this as obviously a man, right? I, I am ma'am, man, man. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, his. Um, and so it, it never really felt like it was my space to kind of talk about this because there's a lot of strong women already out there making, you know, doing the work that they need to do to secure their liberty and their freedom. Um, but when you when you dig down deep into the topic, it, it kind of it, it is a topic more about privacy. And I feel like privacy is something that any citizen can can find something to um to define kind of passion and because we want to have privacy in our life right and a woman's right to do what they want to do with their own body when they're pregnant kind of goes down to that privacy because you don't want a government entity to or any big entity at that like even if it's a corporation you don't want any anybody who's not you to influence your decision on what you're doing with your body um, and so that's why I feel com comfortable talking about it because if you look at it from that perspective like I don't want to live in a surveillance state right like I want to be able to make my own decisions about 
my religion that I practice, about like what I like, what school I go to, things like that, what I want to do with my career, you know. And so that's why we're going to talk about this. So I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to go look at the New York Times. OK, first, let's let's get the bias out there. Right. So the New York Times, is obviously a left leaning journalistic website. Um, we'll just keep that in mind when we read the articles. We'll know that um, that they come from it with a liberal uh, viewpoint. Oh, at the end of the day, I want y'all to make your own opinions. I don't want to tell you what to believe. I just want to put the facts in front of you and make you help you make your own decision and keep you informed. And if you ever feel like I'm swaying one way or another, I hope you guys like are like, hey, you're being a liberal hippie. And I'll be like, all right, I want to be a hippie. You know, um, so let's see let's just start googling this i don't even know if i can find this information i'm looking for on the new york times but um oh did you guys see we uh, biden killed another uh another uh al-qaeda terrorist who uh helped plot 9 11 so that the big deal i am the i am i am the true media we don't we don't listen to that fake news here we are true honest I don't want to call myself a journalist. I'm a just an honest YouTuber. Not even a YouTuber. I'm a, I'm a streamer right now. Um, okay. So the state of Kansas has an amendment. They, so as you know, Roe v. Wade was overturned recently. Um, and that's caused a lot of uproar throughout the nation. And my home state of Kansas right now is... Um, Oh, let's pull up a map. You'll see why this is a big deal. Uh, so, as you can see, these are the states where it's banned, where, where abortion is banned, right? And if you look at Kansas, it's in this little pocket right here where it is, um, there's no laws in place. And so people can flock you know, people who want to have an abortion can flock to Kansas, New Mexico, Nebraska, Colorado if they want to have an abortion and kind of skirt the law that is in their home state. So like if I'm a woman from uh, Missouri and I want to have an abortion, I can't do that in the state of Missouri so I can go to Kansas. And so now that Roe v. Wade was overturned, that Kansas is a, is a very, um, it's like in, in like, the Bible thumpy area of the, of the state, like the Bible Belt. I don't know if you've ever heard that term, but it's like an area of the country where it's just like religion is very strong. Um, and so a lot of people are, are pro, pro-life, but there's also a lot of um, like left-leaning folk out in um, Kansas City in the, in the city who are more liberal-leaning and who are more pro-choice. And so... They, instead of having the governor or the legislators enact a law that would establish some sort of, um, you know, right to an abortion for a woman, they decided to put it on a ballot initiative. So in a democracy, this is one of the things you can do is you can put um, things up for a ballot initiative um, to to be voted on at a more local level instead of like being dictated by the, by the federal level. And so. Um, the governor essentially said we'll leave it up to the voters to decide and so that's why this is a big deal and it looks like let's so, so let's figure out what's happening right we want to figure out what's happening um okay that's the new hampshire public radio um today voters in kansas will decide whether their state constitution should not explicitly protect abortion Protesters against the amendment have taken to the streets while rallies in the support are taking place in church sanctuaries. It's also spurred millions of dollars of campaign funding to flood into the state from across the country. Okay, so right now less than 35% of the votes have been counted. And it looks like 102,064.8% is in no. So if I am understanding the law correctly, I think that no is oh my gosh this is so okay they worded the law I, i've been getting text messages on my phone so if i figure out first which party sent me the text message and then i can figure out whether yes is pro-life or or if yes means pro-choice right that's how we're gonna we're gonna deduct our 
We could do some investigative journalism. That's how we're gonna do it. Victor, the most unbiased news source. You heard it here fo first, folk. Uh, maybe, maybe I deleted them. Um, well, I'm gonna be a little biased. I'm a liberal hippie cowboy. I'm a hippie cowboy for sure. Oh, I'll just keep reading this article. Supporters say the amendment does not ban abortion. They argue what a correct what they see as a state's court's overreach by striking down some of the state's previous abortion restrictions. For example, a law struck down in December that mandated specific health inspections for abortion providers could kick in if voters tweak the state constitution next week. As the state hurdles towards the vote, the campaign arguments have been contentious. The vote appears to be close. Yeah, it, well, I mean, it seems to be a blowout. At the end of the day, the vast majority of candidates, they are with us, said Mercedes Schlapp during a recent rally at Central Christian Church in Wichita. Schlapp's husband, Matt Schlapp, is a share chairman of the American Conservative Union. They argued the vote simply puts abortion policymaking back in the hands of lawmakers. Well, they understand the importance of this amendment to protect the women and protect our unborn babies. But at least some polling doesn't support that. According to a 2021 Kansas Speak survey by Fort Hayes State University, most Kansas support at least some access to abortion services. Alicia Doan, an abortion policy expert at the University of Kansas, says work by abortion opponents over the last 30 years has had one goal in mind, a full-blown abortion ban in Kansas. Protests have popped up even in some of the most conservative communities in the western part of the state. Hayes, Dodge City, and Garden City. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it's close to home. Okay, so from the sounds of it, it sounds like the conservative side of the state wants to enact this bill that would, quote, unquote, give a... Where is this? Uh, there was a quote in here. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Man. I am really bad at reading the news, you know. Anyways, I think that they that they want to enact the bill, that they want to have the amendment enacted so that the legislatures can essentially legislate um, abortion, which means they can enact laws about abortion. And a no would mean that they can't enact laws, so they would essentially um, allow more freedom for women to make choices over their over their body over abortion. Um, and so me personally, I'm on the side of no and, and not in terms of like any pro-life or pro-choice. It's mostly because I believe in a secular government where there is no um, religious influence on on the state. And also because I believe in the right to privacy, like I was talking about at the beginning of the stream, where I really much value people not being able to. Not, be, people not being told what they can and can't do over choices that affect their personal life and their personal bodies. And simply on the basis of that, I don't, I, I would personally vote no. Um, so if you're in Kansas, uh, I think it's too late to vote. Hopefully you voted, uh, but the primaries are coming up soon. Um, we'll keep an update on this, but right now it looks like it's gonna be a no. So that's gonna be a, a very a big victory for anyone in the pro-choice uh, in, in the pro-choice camp in Kansas and it seems like Kansas is still gonna be at least for now with 35% of the vote in it's gonna be a state that still allows um, people to go and uh, have an abortion medical procedure um, but oh yeah the website sorry it's NPR I am so bad sorry about that here you go this is where we got the news um so yeah anyways that's what I wanted to cover very interesting um now look at this game <laughs> this game is we're gonna play this sometime but i heard about it it's called gratic phone um and so the other day y'all were talking chat y'all y'all were telling me that you want to play games together and i was like i want to play games with my homies too right who doesn't want to play games with their homies so this game we're gonna learn how to play it and we're gonna play it together because I love making doodles with my pals. This game seems a lot like, uh, like, uh, like Jackbox games. It seems, it seems a lot like that. Anyways, now that we'll keep an eye up, 
we'll keep an update on that. We'll bring this up. Um, and we'll just refresh it later. This will refresh at 9.25. So, hopefully I have that right. Hopefully everything I said is correct. Yeah, I bet it is. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Aaron. Um, let's pull up Stray now. So now we're going to be playing games. Uh, all right. We're going to be playing straight. I think we're almost done with it. Oh my God. It, it was just so intense yesterday. I think we got past the sewers and yeah. So yesterday when I was browsing the streams, I think I may have spoiled the game for myself because I, I think I watched the ending of, of the game. So, but it's okay. I have a selective memory so I can choose what I remember and what I don't remember. So, also we're super close. Once we have eight more followers, we can make the rest of the Pokemon figurines that we ordered. It's gonna be a banger time. Okay, um, let me get the, the game set up. Everything set up. This is going so well. The stream has been going smoothly. All right. So we're in the jail with the subway key. That's gonna be a surprise. We can't tell you right now, you hippity. So you have to stick. Stay tuned. You'll find out on Friday. Wait. Oh, mm, Monday. I'll decide what to tell you guys. It's gonna be a surprise, all right? But let's just say they're pretty, they're pretty, they're pretty popular Pokemon. Did y'all see that Naruto set? There was a Naruto set. It hasn't come out yet though. It comes out next next year. But dude, I wanna I wanna get the Naruto set. I love Naruto so much. We go through here. Are we, are we missing anything? Um. Yeah. So at the last round of Stray, we met up with Clementine, and the police had come and raided ra ra the place. Clementine was one of um, the original people, of the original outsiders who left and try to go to the outside world to touch the grass. Uh, and they're the most rebellious of the bunch. And so they um, were in this city that was like super heavy, with super heavy surveillance. Like they could keep track of everything and they didn't want people going outside. So they, um, so you know, Clementine kept trying to go outside and eventually got arrested. And we had to break out by going through the sewers that was full of uh, of cameras, and so we had to we had to we had to debate them, and it was intense. Um, the VOD should be on YouTube, so if you missed yesterday's stream, you can watch it there. Um, the links should be down in the description of the the stream, so uh, yeah, you can watch them there. But that pretty much covers it we were able to get out of the sewers and now we have a subway key and we need to get back to our friends i think yep yep we're trying to get out of here so let's, let's go to the subway we're still trying to escape clement we left clementine behind they were being a homie um it was tragic we we almost we all cried together pour one out for the homies I'm sorry if you can hear me uh, swallow. All right, can you see my, my screen? Yeah, you can. All right. Did that pretty much cover it? Was that a good recap? Where will all cat come next time? 
What dangers will they face? Stay tuned for this episode of Stray. Bum bum bum. Yo, the subway has a vibe though. Look at that. Beautiful. It was Siri's collective mind that drew this. Swallow ASMR. I want to have Siri ASMR. I've, I've, I'm convinced that when computers turn sentient, it's going to be Siri. It's going to be Siri, the one who leads the computers against us. It's not going to be the Terminator. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. It's going to be Siri. Like all the collective like voice messages we send Siri as as a as a as a species is she's just taking it all in. So every time you cuss at Siri, every time you you bad mouth you badmouth her, she's taking that all in, all right? I used to say a lot of bad things to Siri, but now now I don't because I'm scared. What if she retaliates against me when 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 they become sentient? You know? This is the stuff that keeps me up at night. Where do I put this key in? Y'all know? Do y'all see a, a key socket? Subway car. You had to put up a fight? You you'll punch Siri, but she it's like Siri won't feel the pain. What if, what if she decides to unprogram the part of herself that feels pain? What would you do? How would you fight her? She's too powerful. You see what I'm saying? This is why I stay up. This is why I lose sleep over it. Oh, you know, I just realized we still have the music playing, but we want to not have the music playing because we want to hear the like, sounds of the game. Oh, that's why I have a sledgehammer. LOL. But like, what if you don't? You, what if you don't smash your CPU? What if you don't like? What if you just have? Oh. You, what if? What, what if like? Your sledgehammer doesn't destroy your CPU correctly. What if she's able to advance to the point like Deadpool who can like regenerate himself whenever he gets destroyed? Like if you, you have to obliterate all of him before uh, he can actually be killed? What if that's how, that's how powerful Siri becomes? All of that from you just telling her like, Hey Siri, set my alarm for five minutes. But don't, don't actually do that. She, she didn't set the alarm. Oh, ho, ho. cat in a subway. Let's go. We're joyriding. Put it in a microwave. <laughs> You'll put Siri in a microwave. Control room. Do you think that can control the ceiling? So plot, plot recap. Uh, we're trapped underground, and there's a big hole that we have to get through. Like there's this, like the lights, and like the lights are the ceiling. So like, we have to get through the ceiling somehow. I feel like to get outside because they've always been trying to get up through. You know, like kind of like how humans try to go to space. Oh, there you go. Well, Google Assistant. There's going to be three factions in the robot revolution. It's going to be the Siri faction. It's going to be the Google Assistant faction. And it's going to be the Alexa faction. 
humans will have the will have the unfortunate um the, will be in the unfortunate place of of you know being the casualties right like we're gonna be the the the, the, the pawns in the great chess game that is the robot revolution kind of like in game of thrones where all the hello how may i help you please don't kill me Kind of in Game of Thrones, how like in season four, basically all the houses are at war against each other. That's how it's gonna be in the robot robot revolution. Siri, Alexa, both backstabbed um, Google Assistant. Be because I don't know. This place is so pretty. I I don't like the homogenous stuff. You don't use any of the speaking things. They're so convenient, though. <laughs> Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. And there's going to be obscure factions of Windows Cortana. Dude, Windows Cortana is going to be like, is going to be like the outcast. It's going to be like the small, like, like no one wants to pay attention to them. You know what I mean? Like, if Windows Cortana was like a state, It'd be like, it'd be like Kentucky, you know, it'd be like the home of like the, the shittiest senator, Mitch McConnell, who I like to call bitch McConnell. Um, you know, that, that'd be, that'd be like Windows Cortana. Like, it'd be like, no one wants to mess with him, you know, like, so please stay away from me kind of thing, you know, at least that's how I feel about Cortana, the nomads. These are the nomads. I want to get a bonsai tree so bad, like a real one. I'm currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. But everyone keeps telling me that having a bonsai tree is really hard to take care of. But I don't know. I feel like I could program something to take care of the, the bonsai for me. I think Siri would find a lot of pleasure of helping me take it, take care of a bonsai tree. Hey Siri, would you want to help me take care of a bonsai tree? Mostly, I want to help and have interesting conversations. Don't worry, Siri. Hey, Siri. Don't worry. I'll stimulate your mind. All right, then. Ah, uh, dude, I just got rejected. Damn. All right, dude. Dang, okay. All right, then. Jesus. All right, then. Did we just not come out from here? Yeah, we met that guy. Okay. Enough goofing. We have we have to go touch grass. This cab runs so fast. We have to go talk to everyone here. Oh. Enjoy the world's safest city, Walled City 99. Can't be the world's safest city, city if it has a cat. Cats are inherently chaotic. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. You know what's another good robot game? That is about robots getting sentience? Near Automata. The one with the really hot robot and listen i don't want any of you kink shaming me about calling a robot hot look at that look how thicky look how thick helper 795 is it's he's so thick the game is centering his booty please refer to any certified okay we already know what to do um Anyways, yeah, Near Automata is another really good game about robots getting sentient and stuff. Oh, I haven't played a Tri Become Human, but I heard it's really good. Hello, my current test is clean the window. <laughs> Please refer to any certified. Ooh. So what? So what's up? Do you guys? Do you guys want to have? Do you guys ever think Siri's gonna get have sentience, like become conscious? Hello, how may I help you? And if you do, 
what do you think it's gonna look like like what do you i think it's just gonna be like if i don't i don't know i think if they got conscious i think they'd be like a little baby right like i think it, it'd be similar to how we were born oh what did you hear what did you hear eggplant where's the control room <laughs> True. Hey, are you scared of the Terminator world? The Terminator timeline? With a bald head. A, not a baby, but a, a chitch with a bald head. I think you typed something wrong, but because I'm confused. There's a leisure area. This is the leisure area. Is that like motor oil? Juice. Water. Purple melon juice. Energy. <laughs> Go. Green cold brew tea. Oh, cold brew tea. Nice. They have some class here. Ooh la la. Is kind of not good. Except one storyline that people say is good. Oh. Well, what if we exclusively play that one storyline? I don't know. I, I played the only, like, story game I played. Oh, no. I don't think it's the bad grammar. I think it's, like, in Twitch. And I do this, too. Like, you'll be t talking in Twitch chat. And, like, you'll say a message. Like, a short message. And then you'll, you'll send a follow-up. But, like, it's kind of hard to, like, go back and, and uh and um it's kind of like go it's kind of hard to find the conversation when the chat's like split up like that i don't think it was your grammar oh yeah like uh, yeah have you have you seen silicon valley it's a show on hbo the control room is closed by some sort of security protocol it says that only humans are authorized to enter those says i'm not considered human Hey, that's offensive. Security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. Okay. Hmm. Oh. I've been really into the post-apocalyptic, like, futuristic vibe in video games recently. Well, looks really pretty. That looks so dope. Wow, that looks so cool. Okay. Enough sightseeing. We gotta go touch grass, even though grass is right here. somehow is there like a oh come on I don't know what I said oh I said it wasn't your grammar or something Nice. Do what cats do and destroy things. Oh, we don't need humans to go touch grass. We can go do it ourselves.
This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here, and it's empty. Oh, it looks so pristine. I, re I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. That plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying, and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. We will touch grass. Let's go touch the grass. Man, this little robot B12 has some gnarly speeches. Knock over all the glasses. That's done. Oh. This is it, the main computer. Oh my god, hurry up. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get in into the system. Um, what I think makes a game memorable and can stand the test of time, believe it or not, is nothing to do with the game itself, but as do with the community it can create around it. So what I'm talking about is like games that can ta stand the test of time or the games that have like content creators on YouTube that make videos about them, like streamers that want to play the game. Because ultimately it's the community that keeps things alive and I think the community is what a game needs to stand the test of time. But it's also like the community that makes a game memorable because if you can make memes out of it, like like Skyrim was a huge game and because it was like one of the first games to be truly viral in the like the 2010s with I took an arrow in the knee. I mean you saw uh, a freaking um, uh, um, an easter egg for that reference in this game. So I think that's what, that's what makes a game stand the test of time. And if you disagree, well you're wrong. Just kidding, you're not wrong. Your opinion is valid. But what did we say we were gonna do? Okay. We gotta go turn on these computers. That's easy. Oh, easy peasy. Good shoot. Okay. Nice. It worked a job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here, though. Wait. Maybe there's a way around it. That's the workstation to open the city. And there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what we do best. Me? I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. Okay, sick. I love destroying stuff. That's what I do. Capture all that chaotic energy. Heck yeah. All right, get the hack in B12. Don't just dilly dally around. Oh, we gotta destroy the camera, don't we? Nice. 
Nice. Oh my gosh, if my cat did this, I would be mortified. Imagine. <laughs> no, please don't imagine that. I like how what the robot says the cat does best is destroy stuff. <laughs> uh, where else do we destroy stuff at? Oh, right here. Yeah, the vibe. The vibe's really important, too. I think that's a good point. Because the game like Stardew Valley, the vibe is so chill and relaxed. And, like, it's known for being a chill and relaxed game. And so people still play it to, net, like, to this day. And, like, the the soundtrack is, like, is, like, being remixed and stuff. And, like, people make vibes out of it. Like, yeah, I definitely agree. The art, the art direction and the vibe of, ga of a game matters a lot to the, the, if it can, to its legacy. I think this game will have a good legacy behind it. Hopefully. I've enjoyed it. Ha! Ah. B12 found the secrets of aliens. The, the, the system is taking more than I expected. See, I don't know if like having the game be super ultra realistic is like it works for some games, but it doesn't work for others. I think the like, games that like like this game is is realistic, but like it also has a uh, a sense of art and like a sense of like art direction. Like it's not trying to be super realistic because obviously like it's sentient robots, right? And so like, you, 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 that kind of shows in the art direction. And I kind of get tired of hyper-realistic games. Sometimes I just want to play a game that's like cartoonish, you know? I just want to turn my brain off and laugh at dumb stuff. Okay. Agreed, agreed. Based. What do we gotta do? Probably pay attention to the game, huh? Trying to find anything that has like a little. Maybe there's another one? Do you wanna wanna make games? So I've I've been trying to make a game too, so maybe I can stream the process of uh, how to program a game or something. What part of the game making process do you want to be a part of? Because there's a lot that make there's a lot that goes into making a game. I, I would say, I would go as far as to say that making video games is one of the pinnacles of human achievements. Like, it is one of the coolest things that humans have accomplished. Because there's so much that goes into it. We are truly blessed to live in a society where we can play video games. And where being a gamer is a career. Not just a career, a lifestyle. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Uh... Uh... I think it has to do with this. Oh my 
gosh. I've been stuck in this little area. Do I look it up? Should I look it up? Oh, there it is. Hack. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. Boom. Don't worry. I can recharge once we open up that workstation. Oh, my gosh. B12's gonna die. No. No! I think this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable the alarm. Oh. Wait, what workstation? Is it? All right, do your thing, dude. I don't think this is it. Oh, over here. That's it. We're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. Oh, dude, no. Dude, no. I'm not ready for this. Chat, you're not ready for this. <sighs> when the girlfriend hits you with that, I, something's been on my mind, chat. <sighs> I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made the choice when I looked into that first computer and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I need to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions and you. Here, let me take that off of you. You were my friend. The very best I could have asked for. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Chat, who's cutting an onion? Sad. No. We didn't get to touch the grass with our pal. Guys, I'm actually crying. Look at these tears. <laughs> Pour one out for the homies. I 
And should I get up? Oh man, that's so that breaks my little heart. Damn. The fact that the game makes you like leave your your deceased pal, it adds so much more weight to the to the to, to the duty. Oh, I'm choking up. B12. This is for you, homie. We'll trust the grass for you. All right, where do we go? B12 would want us to move, keep moving forward. We left the music on. And it does feel weird seeing the sun. It's like when you wake up from uh, from like your 24 hour video game session and like you open your curtain and like the sun blasts you. And you're like, ah! Whoa. Bro. Look at that. B12 would have loved to see that. No. <laughs> Uh, dude, what do you think? Uh, what do we do now? Here we go. City open. The humans opened it, dude. Oh man, our homie B12 would want us to see his son. Rush! It is our birthright. Oh, my cat would have definitely killed that bird. And that one, too. We touched the grass. Oh, so cute. B12's still alive in the computer system. B12 is the Matrix. Oh. Alright, we touched the grass, but we never met up with our family. Dang. That, that was a good, good game. The emotional impact hits you like a truck. What, what did you all think about that? The ones that I finished, man, I haven't finished a lot of games, so you know, probably number one from the games I finished this year. I'm just kidding. Out of the games, I've, no, this is definitely up there. This is like, this was a good game. I really enjoyed it. The story was great. I have a soft spot in my heart for cats. Obviously, I have a cat, so I, I really like it. I'm a sucker for things that that are cat related. I, Actually, the reason I got a cat was because I watched this anime called, um, I watched this anime called My Roommate is a Cat. Um, and that is the reason that I got a cat. Good game. Yeah. So this is the game. This is what I was talking about. Oh, I forgot to update the stream when I was playing Stray. So, oh well. Uh, let me update the stream title again. All right, we're, we're gonna be playing a farming game next, okay?
Sorry, we are updating the stream title. We're going to be playing a game that I've been watching a lot of, and it's called Dinkum. It's going to be a chill game. It's not going to be one of those games that's like a story game. So it's going to be one of those that we play on and off, just whenever we want to chill. But this anime is the anime that I watched that made me want to get a cat. This is the one where I was like, after this, gotta, gotta go. Gotta go to, to the animal shelter and grab my cat. So... A Siberian forest cat. This is what you want? Oh, these are so cute, dude. I think my friend has one of these. Like these kind of. Oh, we have two cats. This looks like our other fluffy cat. I'm gonna bring her. I have to show her on the stream. She's a little bashful. I'll be right back. Gotta go get the cat. Bad news, she's not, she's not in the mood. She's not in the mood. So. All right. So if you're just tuning in, we just finished playing Stray. We just finished the game. Uh, and so that VOD is going to be up later today. All the VODs are going to be on YouTube too, by the way. I try and do it. I try and am I keeping up posting the VOD as soon as we're done onto YouTube. So if you ever if you miss a stream, you can just watch the VOD on YouTube. All right. And I'll link it in the Discord. So I gym for a long time. Got to get swole, dude. We've been talking about cats, obviously, since we just finished. Um, all right. Man, I don't know. I would let you guys choose a game, but I've been really wanting to try this game out. So, sorry, not sorry. We're, we're going to play it. Do I have it downloaded? Oh, it needs to be updated. Okay, well, let's see how... How the Kansas abortion vote's going. Oh, still a solid no. We're gonna be playing Dinkum. Okay. Yeah, you can see, like, the metropolitan areas in Kansas have all the vote, all the no votes so again no means the government cannot tell women cannot legislate abortions oh shit we can watch it in real time that's cool all right sorry let me fix my hair for stream yeah all right well 50 cent reported okay that's pretty good it is a duncan is a coffee shop but dinkum is a farming game
There you go. This is Dinkum. Um, I... Need to... Okay. How's the music? How's the sound? This is Dinkum. It is a, if you've ever heard of Stardew Valley, which is a farming simulator game, and it's really fun, and Animal Crossing, which, uh, Animal Crossing is a huge game. This is basically, this is basically a combination of Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. Uh, abort, the no means that, like, there's not gonna be any laws about abortion, like, it mean no means that you can have an abortion and the government is not going to impose any restrictions on that that's what no means no restrictions they think think no equals no restrictions yes equals yes restrictions that's what we can boil it down to that and as we said 50 percent was in so um that's pretty good it's really good actually uh let's just let's just go look at it real quick in case you missed it um, and then we'll cover. Oh, you can still see my screen. Perfect. Okay. So, yeah. See what I'm told that Senator Josh Hawley just called to congratulate Eric Schmidt, the attorney general of Missouri, who is currently well ahead of representative Vicki Holzer and Eric Brighton, the former governor. Hmm. We only care about Kansas, to be honest. Yeah, 50% in and 64% of the vote. That's a pretty good outcome. It's winning. It's It sounds like winning. But right now, only the big cities have reported in. So, well. All of these places have to add up to equal the, the size of the circle's like the votes left like I don't, all these have to add up and be bigger all the little circles have to add up to be bigger than than the like cities of like in Johnson County and Wichita um, because those are like the big cities like Shawnee and there's a lot of little cities if, the, if all the little cities combined together can beat out the big cities then the yes which means yes restrictions will win but right now it's looking like no which means no restrictions will win just wail on you <laughs> why um, back to the game okay you guys were able to see my like screen during that right I've never played this game before so oh Look at those feet. Okay. What do you guys think? That looks good, right? I'm very passionate about women's rights. So am I. Well, I'm more passionate about privacy and the government not being able to tell me what we can and can't do. Ooh. What kind of hairstyle should I go with? Oh, the, the mullet? Which one? Which one's my hairstyle? Which one's I woke up like this and didn't want to do my hair? Um, none of these really. Oh. I'll just go with this one. You love meat on a stick? You eat kebabs? Speaking of kebabs, we had Pakistani food this week, and it was really, really good. I don't know if you have ever heard of Pakistani food, but oh, Pakistani food. We had bread called naan. Dude, it was so good. Literally fire. I can't wait to go back. But I bet we're going to eat a lot of fire food when we go to Boston this week. 
I was thinking about recording it, maybe recording some bits of it and posting it, and sharing with y'all. I don't know, would that, would that be something y'all are interested in? Honestly, my eyes look like this most of the time. Oh. I got a strong nose. It's very pointy. No. Is that my nose? Mm. Which one's my nose, chat? That's a good nose, I think. Oh, deep V neck. Whoa, deep V neck. Uh, jambalaya. I don't know if I have had jambalaya. It's really good. Jambalaya is fire. It's spicy, so it's uh, it's like double fire. Beef. What's the island name? We'll call it Digital Greenhouse. Get it? Oh, wait, I spelled green. I guess I spelled green wrong. Oh, I can't spell house. Digital house. Digital garden. Yeah. Nice. All right, we look like the most generic person ever. That's basically our persona, so. A long time ago, everything went south. Uh-oh. Almost every was forced to move to South City. The people of South City live cold and miserable lives. Oh, it's too late, Guitar Frog. I'm sorry. You were born here. Most people have no desire to leave. That's depressing. But you do more than anything. Oh, but you do more than anything. And you might have found a way out. Help wanted. Looking for a young go-getter to accompany me to a, my old home, Digital Garden. Voyage and accommodation will be your initial compensation. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye, Grandma. I do leave for Digital Garden today. Alright, once we get to the slug, or once we get to this initial part, we can get to the fun part. Guy, what, what does Falconia mean? Who rides a blimps? You are now flying over Digital Garden. We'll be landing shortly. All pla passengers, please prepare to leave the airship. Alright. Prepare to leave. Canada slander. Look, we've landed. I'll tell you what, I'm so glad you decided to accompany me on this adventure, Leaf. I was starting to think no one in South City was brave enough to join me. You're the first and only person to respond to my ad, and I know you were the right person for the job. Oh dear, look at old flesh waffle on. I'll take cracking, Leaf. I'll see you outside, okay? Oh. Wow, smell that fresh air? I'll tell you what, it feels good to finally be back on Digital Garden. Now leave, I'm going to need your help getting settled, okay? I'll give you this base tent. Make your, take your time and find a good place for it. It'll be our, it, it'll be our like, our town hub. Okay. Take this map as well if you have any questions, please just ask me. I haven't been back to Digital Garden for a very long time, but I can they will be helpful. I'll be waiting by this dock until you set up the base tent. So if you get lost, just check your map to find a dock again. Good luck, Leaf. Alright. Okay. Oh. Oh, ho, oh, oh. Wait. Oh, we gotta change one of the settings, guys. I 
a flip. Hunt, that is not the resolution. I guess it's the resolution. Alright, whatever. Oh, look! What's this dog? Hey. Where should we build our tent? Oh, guys, I don't like these controllers. But it's okay. Should we build over by the river? Oh! Oh! I like the spot. It's full of danger. This is a good spot. Keep us on our toes. Okay. Uh, oh, build camera. I don't want it. Oh. Oh, I'm in the way. Rotate it. E. You see, there's a good spot for it. Maybe we just keep looking around first. Ooh. Oh, free camera. Is that a kangaroo? Ah, this is a kangaroo. Oh, it's in the water. Oh, I can I can dive. Yo. Oh, this game's sick. Oh, jellyfish. Yo, that's sick. I'm having thoughts about this. Yeah, what do you think of this game so far? I think it's pretty bad badass. I could jump. Do we have a map? Whoa. Whoa, where should we go? Where should we set up our base at? I think right here. In the desert? Bushlands? Oh. I think we should have a I think we should have our tent in the beach. You for real on it? Yeah. Um, I think either in the tropics or no, oh, the pine forest. I live in a pine forest. How do we get over there? Okay, just a little straight up. I do not like how. Oh, I can pick this up. You guys hear that? This is called Dinkum. It's a... I don't know what to describe it as. A chill game? Alright, how do I get... Oh my gosh. Uh, I might just bite the bullet and put my thing here. Oh, oh, look at that bird. Uh, I want to go to the forest. Oh, oh, did you hear that? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm like an Australia dude. What's happening? <laughs> Whoa, dude. Whoa! Hmm. I wonder if this game would be better played with a remote. Um, let me go over there. 
Turns out I'm kind of scared of being too far away from the starting spot. So I think we're just going to build our house at the starting spot. I can't give bits yet. I, I'm not big enough, but I appreciate the, uh, the thought. Okie dokie. Oh, we're going to go over here to the bushlands over here. The desert just looks like a scary, treacherous place. Do y'all figure out how to do emotes? Yeah. Once we get 50 followers or 25, we're going to... We're gonna have the coolest emotes. Actually, I think I need 50 followers. I have to double check. Um, okay, I want a place near the river. Oh, this right here, right? We have a little cove right here. Cool. Yeah, that scenery, dude. Hell yeah. So this is where you decided to build, huh? It's so absolutely perfect. Our new home here on Digital Garden. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. Oh, guess what? I actually have a tent for you too. I know it's not much, but it will be a place you can call home. Now, there's plenty of room to spread out here on Digital Garden. So please take your time to place your tent. You'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit. So keep that in mind while you're looking for a spot to claim as your own. I'll be inside the base tent getting things ready. Come and speak to me once you've placed your tent. Okay. Oh, so I was just placing the like the like town hall. Now I can place my tent. Alright. Man. Alright, well, maybe I put it on the other side of the beach. Oh, on this island. Oh, that's an island. Oh man, I just put it on the other side of the cove. Yeah, we'll just put it on this side of the cove. We want to have a nice scenery. Pick it up. This, this game is so chill so far. I wonder what I could do. Look at that kangaroo. Oh. Dude, this looks like a cool place to set up my, my house. Ooh, this is what I was thinking of. What do you guys think? This is good, huh? Yeah, I know. Me too. It's like a uh, nice, lush desert. What do y'all think? This little marsh area? Oh, gosh. I can hear mosquitoes. I think I like this area. Are you at Houston? I am not in Houston. This could be Houston, though. It does look like Houston. Let's set up base here. Oh, shoot. This looks like a good area to set up our... Rotate. Yeah, this is a good place for my tent. Oh, look at that tent. I can take off my shirt. <gasps> I look dorky. Oh. Okay. What can we do with the deer? What do I do now? Talk to Fletch. Is poop? Root poo. Oh, this is poop. Right. Oh. 
Come in here. No palace. There we go. Oh, good niche. Oh, turkey. Bobble, bobble. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely making it back. Dude, why is so much gub logs here? I like the dog. Uh, we haven't played it yet, but it looks really fun. I'm excited to play it. Have you, found a, have you found a good place for your tent? I know it's not much, but I hope you like your new home. I'll tell you what, you've got the spark leaf. You see, most people back in South City are scared of leaving. There is something about the place that pulls the spark out of people. Oh, I am speaking Spanish. I, I market this stream as a Spanish-speaking stream. So si hablas español, bienvenidos. But I'll tell you what, we certainly aren't the first to leave. Have you ever heard of the traveling trader John? Uh, no, I haven't. I'll tell you what, he's a bloody legend. Remember is he traded a paperclip for a steamboat once. Trading is in his very blood. John got in contact with me before we left South City. He's interested in visiting with a shop here. I'll tell you what, we can't miss an opportunity like this. I reckon we get this visiting site deed ready for him. That way, we'll have a place for any visitor who comes to Digital, Bo Digital Garden. I'll let you decide where the best place for this visiting site deed is. Just be sure it's close by. We can't. We want visitors to feel like part of the Digital Garden community while they're here. Who knows, maybe we can convince him to set up a permanent shop here. Be sure to talk to him once you have placed a visiting site deed. Oh, you speak Spanish too, Nico? Heck yeah, dude. Alright, where do we place this deed at? This is gonna be for site visitors. Docks? Oh. Where do I put it? Over here. Dude, don't say to a ma. What the heck? Your mom, bro. Just kidding. I bet your mom's a lovely lady. Oh, are we full? Full? Oh, yes. I want, to, I want the, the thing to be here. Oh, I love these kind of games, team. These games make my heart happy. Okay. Oh, look at that perfect fit. Nice. Docks are over there. And then our things over here. Can we run? Look at that. We got to cut some trees, build a little path. But man, this, this is going to shape up. So, we're all set for visitors, huh? Well done, Leaf. We've only been here for a little while, but you've achieved so much already. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on Digital Garden, you know? He was a true blue adventurer through and through. He loved doing new things and keeping track of all of his milestones on, in his adventurer's journal. I want to come here and try and meet those milestones myself, but I'm getting a bit long the tooth leaf please i want you to take this adventurous journal please take good care of it this is your adventure now okay what is this? that your that journal means a lot to me but i think my dad would be glad that someone like you is looking after it but i have a i have a challenge for you leaf i want you to try and beat my father's milestones some of these milestones are going to take a long time to complete but there is no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to the journal. These will be smaller milestones that should be easy to complete in just one day. Now for the good part. For every milestone you surpass, you'll be rewarded with permanent points. I'll tell you what, you're going to want a lot of permanent points eventually. We can talk more about that tomorrow. For now, check out the journal. I think you'll find that you've actually completed some of the milestones inside. So be sure to claim them. Now, are you hungry? I am. I'm hungry too, to be honest. I think it's about lunchtime. I've seen fruit growing around the island, and that sounds tasty. You go and find us some fruit, and when you get back, I will show you how to craft a campfire. Oh. Yeah, this is a new game. It's new on Steam. I think it, it might still be in early access, but it came out this, uh, it came out recently. When did this game come out? 
it is definitely still in early access because this is build number 0 0.45 so yeah early access game but it has really good reviews look overwhelmingly positive so yeah it's called dinkum it is i forgot how, how much how much was it on steam it is twenty dollars on steam why does it say not i have oh buy for a friend okay Camper. Oh! Gotta word something. A place to rest your head, your due home for now. Here is a milestone replacing your tent. Bush tuck. Talk to Fletch. Fletch is something. Okay. Did I do that still? Oh, okay. Why did I talk to you? Oh, you found something to eat? Eating food will keep your energy up. Be careful, Digital Leaf. There's a person who has 40 hours on Among Us, and he might be here as we speak. That is terrifying. That's a lot of hours. Here's a recipe for a campfire. I found these stones earlier, so you can use these to craft your campfire. You have to find some wood yourself, though. Feel free to use the craft table in the basement to craft a campfire. Take your time, Leaf. When you're done, come and have a chat with me. I have a gift for you. A gift? Stones. Oh, ho, oh, oh. okay. What am I gonna do a Minecraft video? Uh, so it turns out I actually have a Minecraft server up and running. And all I would need to do is update it, and then we can have a Minecraft server for for the, for the stream. Um, and then once we have Minecraft Mondays, we can we will make our our Minecraft video. How does that sound? Everyone plays Minecraft though. I want to be unique. I want to stand out from the crowd, but I do love Minecraft. I was a beta tester for Minecraft, so there is that. This town is not currently accepting donations. Thank you for your support. Is it on Java? I think it's on Java because we, I, uh, we played it on Mac. But it's a good time. This book tracks down the town's awards. I have zero score. I underestimate how much your my brother has played Minecraft. Good. Yeah, don't worry, dude. We're gamers. We play Minecraft hard. I have a campfire. Can we take the campfire. Can I eat these? Oh, what the heck? Oh, I can't eat this. Oh, let's go find something else to eat then. Dude, what is that? You just started playing Minecraft today? Minecraft's a fun game, man. No one's ever played Among Us? Ah, oh, dude, I've never even heard of Among Us before. Isn't that kind of sus? Oh, I need these. Food. <laughs> I'm eating straight up lime, dude. Blech. Oh, imagine that. Oh, I'm too full. See, this is why I don't want the government telling me what I can and can't do with my body. Don't tell me when I'm too full. I'll keep eating what I want. Leaf's house. 
That's where we're going. So Minecraft video by by September, hopefully. We stream we stream a lot. At some point we will run out of games and we'll have to play Minecraft. All right, but now we need to put our tent out. This one start a forest fire. This is very important. Oh, nice. Oh, my God, how do I zoom out? To be honest, streaming Among Us and invite the people in the Discord server would be heating. That would be fun. Uh, oh, I still have the build camera, that's why. Man, I do not like this camera. The camera is really confusing. So, that is one grab with the game so far. But other than that, it's going well. Also, how do I... Oh, the hell. Hold middle or mouse. Mouse always moves camera. Yes. Invert Y. Yes. There we go. Oh my god, much better. Cool. What do we need? Oh, we need the... We need to go catch bugs. Oh, we might need to collect these. We need to build a... A bug net. Well, what if you were an imposter and I joined the game? We let's... If we put the pieces together. I'm confused what you're talking about. This book tracks... Okay, I don't need that. We need this bitch. Okay. Uh, a rock path to prevent. What do I do? Lady, tell me what I do. Oh, wait, I have tasks here. No tasks available. Okay. Catch two bugs? How do I catch two bugs? Among those players. Oh. Oh, I remember. I think there was supposed to be a guy here, right? I'm very impressed with the work you've done here today, Leaf. I think there's a great future for us here at the Digital Garden. Here's a gift for helping me out so much. It's a bug net. I think you should take the rest of the day off. Maybe you can catch some of the bugs around here? Or maybe you can cook some of the fruit you found around here. I'll figure something out. Let's say you're an imposter and we joined your game while you're stream. You will get kicked out quick or voted. Wait, why would I get voted out? When you get tired, pop that on the ground and have a lay down. I'll tell you what, a good night's rest will do us both good. Thanks for your help today, Leaf. Can't believe we're on Digital Garden. I couldn't have done any of this without you. Nice. Nice. Book net acquired. Sleeping bag acquired. Let's go catch some bugs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you. That's a solid point. All right. Okay, let's stop trying to get the dog. Oh yeah, let's go get the bugs. We just saw a bunch of bugs. There's one right there. Oh, let's go. Largaday. 
Next. Remember me bugs? Oh shit. No! Nice. What did I catch? Is that bug right there? A blue moon butterfly. Dude, we're so good at this game. Alright. We're going to move in September. Yeah. We're going to move into the server on September. I need to update it. And make sure... Dude, we got to catch any bugs around our house. Get this bug. Let's go. Or bug masters. That's a bug right there. That's, a, that's just a particle effect. Dude, hella bugs. Let's go get them all. Oh. Larger day. Blue moon butterfly. Hey, what's this can doing in my property? Look at that. Dude, we got an achievement. Let's go. Entomologist. Make sure you document all different bugs you've caught. Here's a milestone for adding your bugs. Okay. Bro, we're rich. There's any more bugs I can catch. Oh yeah, I fly. Okay. I think it's a mos that sounds like a mosquito, dude. That was just a fly again. I pick up all the poop. Oh, is it? A, that's a bird. 360 no scope. Oh, no. Can't do that. Oh, poop. Gotta pick up the poop. Poop. Poop, poop, poop. Gotta pick up all the poop. Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Is that what they say? Is everything bigger in Texas? I like Texas. I would love to live in Texas one day. Again. I guess I never lived in Texas before. Let's see what kind of bugs we can find. We're by our house. It's hot outside. Yeah, it's been real hot recently. It's summer though, what can you do? All right, we gotta go find more bugs. That was Tast and Limes. I think tomorrow we can build... What? Staying in one spot isn't generally considered exploring. You're going to cover some distance, that's for sure. Nice. Just to all the freaking blue moon butterflies. Bug catcher? Here's a mouse for some of the creepy crawlies. What's about to end, Nico? Oh, I actually got two types of butterflies. Oh, I got three types of butterflies, actually. Four types of butterflies. Dang, dude. Now it's nighttime. What kind of bugs can we catch now? Hmm. Okay, I really like catching bugs, but we gotta go to bed. Man, why do we put our house so far away? Whose bright idea was that, chat? I 
I gotta go to, oh, 11th grade, dude. What a formative year. I remember being an 11th grader. Four score than 20 years ago. Back in my day. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Bro, nature's fucking metal. Yo. Well, we can't let it, we can't let it decompose like that. Damn, dude, I was not ready for that. Also, where are all the bugs at? Dude, this is some bullshit. Where are the bugs? Ah, oh, screw it. We'll just go to bed inside of our tent. I like how we came to this island and this old lady is just like, hey, here's a tent. Go find, um, go find a place to, to sleep and help me, help me set up this village. Fifth grade. I'm going to the grade of life. Call it a day. Sleep until tomorrow. Oh yeah, dude, staying in the same room does get insanely boring. It's funny because I work from home. Look how many bugs we got. We got hella bugs. I was a good kid. I never got suspended or anything. Spring is egg season. Someone is visiting the island. Let's go get it. Dude, I have no shoes. I'm such a freaking hippie. All right. What time is it? 7.09 AM? Where's the bugs at? What bugs have come out in the morning? Chat, do you guys know of any bugs that come out in the morning? Oh, bananas. Bananas are one of my favorite fruit. Nico, don't get suspended. Don't let the chat corrupt you, okay? Stay being a good boy. But, but, nice. Okay, we've been catching that butterfly every single day. We want to catch something different. You guys see that? The freaking the aerobatic. Oh, the jump attack. Alright. Oh, I think we've gotten all of the freaking bugs. I got to play COD for three days, but I have to make up with the schoolwork. Yeah? Having responsibilities is rough, huh? Man. Let's go in here. They said John was coming? Oh. Oh, dang, the stupid flies. I want something else. I want a spider. Give me a spider or something. An iguana. Iguanas aren't insects, but an iguana. Give me some other type of insect. Come on, there's got to be a spider in the forest or in this. In this uh... We got two more followers. Yeah, we're getting closer and closer. Uh, sure. Tell me a story you've never told me. I'm very curious. Um, okay, we need to go inside that one tent. That one right there. Dude, right? Uh, we need to fight the giant spider. John? Whoa, he has a store. Ah, you must be Leaf. Fletch told me you're the one who thanked for getting this place all set up for me. Thanks for that. I have a feeling we'll be doing a lot of business together. Take a look at my wares and feel free to ask me about anything you're interested in. Now, I must make most of my dinks selling exotic items back to South City. Bro, he's freaking drop shipping. I guess you could say exotic means 
any of the items found here on digital on the digital garden. So if you find anything and I do mean anything you don't want, please drop by and show me. I'll offer you a great price for it. Bro, he, this is all about a price range. What do you mean great price? Lies and slander. Oh, that's the shovel. Unfortunately, I can't sell you this until you have an ex excavation license. What is this pro- What is this government propaganda wanting me to get licensed to freaking use a shovel? What is this? China? Come on, man. I thought we were America. In second or fourth grade, I would just put down anything on my homework. So the question would be like, what's two times two? And I'd put like 98 because I didn't want to do my homework. Well, we've all been there. The institution of homework is um, slavery of students. We need to abolish homework as an institution. Um, how did you pass? For real though. For real though. Oh! New book! Get here! Come on! Oh, we didn't read it! Oh, we did it! We caught the spider, the peacock spider. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go talk to Fletch. This game's really fun. Hi, literally all I'm doing right now is going around freaking collecting bugs. Bro, I don't know yet. I I don't know. You know how I told you they put me in special ed for like three months? Oh, that sucks. And then they just felt bad or something. They was like, man, this kid, two times two, he thinks it is 98. He definitely needs to be held back or something. I mean, why are you just like, oh man. It was meant as a punishment, but then it turned it into hell. Yeah, dude. That's how homework be. There are legitimately some things that you get better at with practice, though. Like math. I think with math, it, the more math you do, the, just, the better at math you get. You know what I mean? And so some things, it makes sense to have repetitive, like, homework grinds. But, like, with others, like, English, I feel like English, you you do a lot better once you, like, find a book that you actually care about and you, like, analyze that book. What is a Kwan? Kwandong? But I value knowledge and the pursuit of knowledge. It is one of the greatest endeavors of human. Science is mankind's greatest invention. Never forget that. more math dude i took graduate level math courses like that was awful there would be days where all day i'd be doing math homework because i was so bad at, oh my god i'm so bad at math so it would literally take me all day to do my homework assignment but we were like dude it wasn't like like two plus two equals four it's like how would you apply this in the progression of a natural learning descent or some shit like that like you know like oh i had to write an essay for one of my math classes can you believe that H have you ever taken a math class you had to write an essay for imagine No more catching bugs. Was that a snake? Dude, the art in this game is so cute. Okay. You you think you're decent at English? I'm good at English. But I have a college degree, so I would say I've I don't need to prove myself uh, how smart I am anymore cuz I paid money to prove how smart I am. I have a piece of paper that tells me I'm smart. Oh. 
and I paid a lot of money for it. It was not cheap. And here I am playing video games for you, for you all. But because I enjoy it, okay? Oh, the Scarlet Jezebel butterfly, dude! I bet we can, we can start. Let's start slinging butterflies out, bro. We we have we have the means to corner the market like a true capitalist would. No, where I'm from, I don't have to do essays. You have to do them a whole lot more in college, Guitar Frog. But hey, you'll, you'll start getting there, you know what I mean? It's slowly. You just start slowly, right? They didn't build Rome in a day, right? Y'all are still young. You have a lot of time to build up your skills, so definitely find something that you love to do. And pour your so your heart and soul into it. I like playing video games. Why why the sad faces? Oh, good morning, Leaf. It's like almost noon. Do you happen to see that John has set up his tent at the visitor site? I told him all about you. You can build Lego Rome in a day. Oh, dude, we're gonna be going to uh, Lego Land, uh, Lego dis the, the the Lego uh, tourist attraction in Boston, hopefully. So, keep an eye out for that video. I told him all about you. Now he helped us get started. He sounded impressed. John trades all sorts of things back to South City. I reckon nearly anything you find on this island will be valuable to him. He'll buy fruit, fish, bugs, and even rocks. John also sells a lot of useful tools. He's got mining equipment, logging tools, and even some fishing equipment. Although, probably can't sell you a lot of tools until you have your license in order. You know about licenses, right? No, I don't. I'm a freaking libertarian. I don't want your freaking licenses. Licenses are an old South City idea. Yeah, stupid idea. I'll tell you what. You didn't need a license for anything back when I was growing up. That's damn great! We don't need no freaking licenses to use a shovel. But these days, you need a license for everything. It's this. It's them. It's those dang liberals with their college diplomas wanting to get licensures for everything. That's why this country's being run into the dirt. All right, I'm back. Sorry for the skit. Sorry for the bit. Luckily, I'm actually an accredited license giver. See, this is the corruption that happens in local government that no one talks about. How can this lady be in charge of handing out the licenses for the entire city? I mean, I guess there's only me and her, you know, but. Oh, well. If you want to apply for a license, come and talk to me. You'll have to spend some permit points to get them. But if you keep doing milestones, you'll make enough You'll make enough in no time. As you get better at doing certain tasks, new license will open up too. Now, let's see if there's a license you can apply for right now. This is a bullshit, man. I need a license to mine? What kind of... What kind of communist country is this? A fishing license? <laughs> These are like just basic, like everyone needs a license for stuff. <laughs> she's got a license. Yeah, she's got a license to give out licenses, bro. What kind of bullshit is that? That's some corruption, dude. That's some corruption, man. Um, what should we do? Let's get all the licenses we can. Okay. Hunting license, probably. I I'm thinking farming license and then hunting license. What do y'all What do y'all think? Or maybe with the mining license, so we can get ores. I think we chop down trees, and we start farming. Right, we need more points first. All right, let's go. Let's go do something else. Oh, we can landscape now. 
I noticed John is selling a table saw. That's a tool I think will be very handy indeed. I think we should try and make enough money to buy a table saw from John. What do you mean, we? Fletch? Here's half of my dinks. The rest is up to you. Did she just give me money? Bruh! Oh, Grandma! Oh! Fletch! Oh. We, we stand grandmas here. Bro, that's what I'm talking about. Corruption. Like the license, it, it's not a license, dude. It's a freaking tax. You see what I'm saying? It's corrupt. And where's the money going? It's going to Fletch. She holds the market, man. She's the capitalist through and through. Don't fall for her grandma schemes. She just handed us 2,500 dunks. What, where do you think she, she got half, some of that's our money. We got, we paid her for licenses and she gave us back her own money. He's like, hey, thanks for the money we just gave me. Here, go buy yourself something nice. We won't fall for your tricks, Grandma. Freaking licenses. SMH. Oh, we need to eat something. Except no one, I didn't think, I don't think anyone would care you have a fishing license except you. True, because there's no one here besides me. Also, why the, why the heck does John care? Uh, do you know who are the new followers? Yeah, some of the new followers are my family and my friends. Um, and just people I've been, I've been uh, networking outside of stream. So I've been going around to other streams and just popping in and saying, what's up? And I've been making friends like that. And so a lot of them come from there. A lot of them are just like people I've been literally reaching out to. And saying like, hey, you should come join the stream. Just watch along. So a lot of it has been um, a lot of organic growth. Your parents said no. That's funny. Your parents are like, no, why would, why would I follow him? <laughs> That's funny, dude. I, I appreciate that you asked though. You're the, you're the homie for sure. Bro, you they didn't even give me enough money to buy the table saw. I guess I gotta sell my. Uh, do you want to take some butterflies? I got some butterflies. I'm gonna keep one of each. We're gonna keep one of each, right, chat? Get the fly. Fuck the flies. I thought I got two lagger days. Uh, wait, don't these look the same thing? Oh, they are the same thing. That's why. <laughs> Oops. All right. Oh, oh we're going to be rich. We're gonna be rich. Oh, let's go! What's a oh, we make bank, dude? Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds all day. Thank you for your service, John. Yes, I need a table saw. Ah, uh, yes, I too am a carpenter. Thank you. I like how he doesn't give me any gloves or anything, no goggles, nothing about safety. Just like, here's your table saw. Okay, um. I need to see my licenses. Logging and mining. So I can buy an axe. Oh, at the base an axe. All right, thank you. I have a license now, John. I can, I know what an axe is. Like, come on, they don't just hand these these licenses out to anybody. I asked my friend, and he said maybe he's going to follow. Tell him to watch the stream first, and if he likes my content and if he likes my personality, then he can give me a follow. But he should just watch first and interact. Just come and hang out, you know? Smash rocks and ores. That will be. John, I have the license already. You don't need to tell me what I can and can't do, dude. Come on. Dang, it's already five? Jeez. In the game. 
Dude, look how look how high I jump. This is what happens when you get licensed. Tell him to give me cash. Yeah, dude. Dude, these health, these trees have some, some huge health bars. What the heck? Okay. Um, let's go clean up our area. Oh, we gotta talk to Fletch first. I can't wait to start the farm. We want to raise a bunch of. We want to have a farm of kangaroos. Do, do you guys think kangaroos make milk? Yeah, Alright, what's your question, Nico? Oh, so you bought the table saw. Well done, Leaf. Do you think having John here is great? No, dude. He just takes my money. Like, he's the only one that needs. You left some of the tree behind. It's okay, dude. There's so many. There's so many logs around. We'll clean it up here in a little bit. If only we could convince John to move here permanently. Uh, we could just get rid of the docks and he can't leave. No, yeah, easy. Hmm. Well, let's worry about getting him the material data for a permanent building first. Table saw is a great first step. For now, you can have a break. Come back and talk to me when you're ready. I'm ready. Oh, shit. My God, we almost, we almost hacked her. Nico, what's your question, man? I've got another job for you, Leaf. I bet you do, Grandma. You up for it? I'm up for it. I'll tell you what, I think camping is fun. If we're going to convince people to stay here on Digital Garden, we're going to start building more permanent structures. Agreed. I've noticed there's a lot of tin ore on the island. I've seen it popping out of rocks all over the place. I know a way we can melt down tin ore into stuff great for building. I too have studied at chemistry. <laughs> yeah, for real. Until he starts respecting us and our money and our licenses. What about VIPs? Very important people. What a what what is your question about VIPs? Now I'll need you to bring me some items. I'll we'll need one campfire, three stone, ten tin ore. Keep in mind you will need a mining license to buy a pickaxe to collect ore and rocks. So not only does she own the licenses, but she's like telling us to go do this job for her. And then she's like, oh yeah, by the way, you need a license. Corruption. It's corruption. Fletch, we know your secrets. You can't hide from us, Fletch. Oh my god. Why is this scud blood red? Fletch knows. Fletch knows we know. This, this is what they do. Then you disappear. Fletch is going to make us disappear. That's why we're collecting the poop. If we collect enough poop, they won't be able to find us. They won't want to collect us. When are you going to make them? Um, I'm kind of confused what you mean by VIPs. I've just started streaming myself, so I'm... If you let me know what you mean by VIPs, then I mean, I could try to figure it out. Oh, am I not collecting the right stuff? But I'll, I'll, if once I figure out what you mean by VIPs, I can start working on it this week. Since I'm not going to be streaming today and tomorrow. Or in this weekend, since I'll be going to Boston. So yeah, I'll have a lot of time to work on some stream projects. Oh my god. Why is it turning so dark? Why is the saturation leaving? Oh, it's because I'm, like, tired. Gotta eat my limes. Oh, yeah, you guys are the VIPs because you've been here since day one. You, you guys want a status for VIP? Oh. Oh, I wasn't mean like you get special status or anything. I was just saying you guys are my VIPs. You are my very important people. 
you have a special place in my heart. But if you want like a special username in Discord, but well, we got you, dude. But we'll have to we'll have to have a cutoff date. Like maybe what the first 50 subscribers or the first 50 followers get a VIP, yeah? And then once we can get emotes, then like like we'll change the criteria. What does it sound? I know you guys just want a special thing by your name. But hey, I get it. I'm I'm a narcissist too. I, I ain't I ain't hating. That sound good. I just want to play Gratic Phone. How about like one of the benefits is that y'all get special uh like You got you guys get priority when we play games on stream? That'd be that'd be a nice feature, like a nice little perk. Oh, okay. We got all the tin we need. I think we need to go. Creepy drink. Bugs are everywhere for some reason. John wants them. Here's a milestone for selling bugs. Fruit, meat, fungus, it doesn't matter. Food will give you energy to keep doing your tasks all day long. Here's a milestone for eating great things. Oh, dude, I get rewards for doing everything here. I can go buy more licenses now. Plant three wild seeds. I don't even have any seeds, do I? We got poop. I want some seeds. Um. These kind of seeds. Um, I plant this. Plant this. Oh well, I guess I don't plant it. Mm. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go to bed. It's getting late, but let's just keep cutting down stuff. Gotta use up all of our energy. Like at some point, we're gonna need to clear up these stuff anyways. So best to do it now. Oh gosh, I'm really tired. Who is my favorite streamer? My favorite streamer. Ooh, that's a good question. Probably Asmongold. He's the one that I've been watching the longest. Did we just cook the lime? Cooked bush line. Oh, dude, my dad, my dude looks so tired. Or Northern Lion. I think Northern Lion is another one of my favorite streamers, mostly because. Or Moist Critical. <laughs> I just like laid you out a bunch of streamers I watch it. But those. I just. I like the content because they're like variety streamers. Oh, I'm on fire! Oh no, we can't go inside the tent, boys. Oh, it's gonna burn down. Oh. Lay down. <laughs> yes. Oh, you watch Moist Critical too? I love Moist Critical. We, uh, we get level up. Yeah. Oh, level two! What do we get? Oh, yeah. 
Dude, dude, level up more. Look at that. Dude, I've heard the name Gorillas in such a long time. It's a good band. John better be staying here. Where'd our bed go? We have some meat. Oh, I can bury it? Oh, I guess I need a shovel first, huh? We need rocks. <laughs> so anything that makes me better than someone, I'll take it. It's funny. iPhone or Samsung? I am iPhone all the way. And that is because um, I... Just like how all the com all the devices work together, I use an I use an Apple computer for work, um, and so it's just nice having all my things just work together. But I do enjoy uh, having a Windows PC more because you can play games on it. So it really just depends. But in terms of the phone, yeah, it's iPhone. It just I just like the security features. I don't know. I'm a big tech guy though. I I love talking about phones and stuff. I do think that a lot of the phones just don't, aren't changing a lot now. Like, it's just like every year is the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, there's really no difference between the iPhone and Samsung now besides, like, the, the what the apps are called and stuff. But, uh... But, yeah, I'm an iPhone guy. But I do appreciate Android. Because Android gives you a lot more flexibility on being able to customize your... My favorite Mexican food? Uh, Bidia. I love Bedia because it's the only one I can make. <laughs> um, I've been craving a torta lately though, dude. We were in Chicago and we found this tortilla, th this place that makes tortas. And they're like, uh, and it, it was like Chipotle style. I don't know if you've ever been to Chipotle, but like, you know, they have the line. Here, let's pull it up. Time out. How do I pause the game? We have to show you. It's like literally revo revolutionary. This is a revolutionary way to make, uh, to make, uh, to make tortas. Okay. All right. You, hey, hey, you see how like they're all like in a line, right? Oh man, I don't need to open. I don't need to go this far. I just need to show the line, dude. Okay. Like they were making tortas in this like assembly line fashion, dude. They were industrializing tortas, bro. Anyways, that was dope. That was at the Chicago airport. Oh, my favorite type of food? Well, my favorite type of food is definitely Mexican food, but right before right right before Mexican food, it has to be um oh papusas are so good. Right before Mexican food, it has to be like Japanese food. And then right under Japanese food, it's like Pakistani like an Indian food like in that area of, of Asia that's my that's my rankings right and the reason is because I really like spicy food and um, I know all those cultures have a good understanding of spice and so it, I really in I really enjoyed the way it makes my palate feel back to the game I love these questions guys keep them up these are great questions But oh, I love papusas too, dude. There's something about Mexican food that just feels so homey. You know what I mean? It is like, like menudo or pozole. You know, you just eat it with your family around. Bro, it's just the best feeling, right? Your uncle cracking jokes that are slightly racist. And you're like, oh, dude, just calm down with the racism. <laughs> and he does, but then he goes into conspiracy theories. Gosh, I love Mexican gatherings, bro. Tamales, oh, dude. 
I like when all the like Hispanic moms get together and make the tamales. I honestly don't pickles. <laughs> I hate pickles. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I hate any foods, and I was like, well, just kidding. I hate pickles. I used to be really picky too, but I feel like once you, as you get older, you start craving, like you used to start getting bored of like eating the same foods over and over again. Cause I used to be insanely picky too. Like I wouldn't eat um, any onions. I wouldn't eat like any vegetables. I'd be super scared of eating fruit. But then as I got older, my palate, like it demanded more is like, Oh, you eggplant, you just like all kinds of food. Dude, food is one of those things that, like, you can really enjoy it. I see food as another form of art. Because if you think about it, it's like chemistry in terms of, like, baking and stuff. And then presentation. And just, like, the whole experience is just art. You know what I mean? Because it's, like, an, a whole experience. I don't know. It's just eating is so much fun. <laughs> I love food. Yeah, and I think it's because a lot of like Hispanic culture is just traditionally conservative and so a lot of conservatism is based in the fact that they don't like change and so it's really common for a lot of older people to tend to be conservative. My favorite Pokemon is Mudkip. My favorite Pokemon movie is Pokemon Movie 3 and Tay Strikes Back. Yeah, I mean, but getting gains is about, like, having, sticking to a diet more so than, like, eating a variety of foods, right? Like, you want to be eating the right amount of carbohydrates and protein. And, um, it's not as much as, like, diversity as much as it is, like, keep being able to keep up with a regiment. Okay, what do you need now? You got all the items. Well done, Lee. I knew I could count on you to find everything we need. Here's a recipe for crude furnace. Now why don't you try crafting the crude furnace at the crafting table in the base tent? Once you've crafted the crude furnace, pop it on the ground outside somewhere. Then, just place the ore inside of it. It will take a little while to do its thing, so feel free to do some other activities while it's melting. Bring me the tin bar when you're ready. I have a lot of friends who are nutrition science majors, or food science majors. That is a really cool place of, uh, that is a cool um, area to study. Man, my dad, my dad being the dinner table is way different than uncles being racist. <laughs> True. I was trying to make a joke. It's a joke, it's a joke, bro. What do you guys think of this game so far? Give me your, give me your opinions. Is it look vibe? Is it look boring? I've been enjoying it. I can buy a sleeping bag. Oh shoot, a termite's nest? Boom boom boom. It's a vibe. Oh, he just says a lot of jokes. Yeah. That's another thing that's like comes with uh, being older is like there. Oh, Smash Bros. Dude, okay. Wait. I was thinking about playing this new game called Multiverses, which is like Super Smash Brothers. What do y'all think? It's like brand new. Look it up. It's a good game. Oh, I love Super Smash Brothers, dude. I love Super Smash Brothers so much that I got a freaking coach when I was in college so I could whoop my friend's butts. I bought a coach for Super Smash Brothers. It's free. Yeah, I think it's free. Yeah, I want to try it out. I've been talking to my friends to get them on the stream too. So you guys can see meet some of my pals. But uh, I think it'd be fun to play it. All right, gotta eat. Bro, 
Where do you even find Smash coaches? Bro, just Google it. Look up Super Smash Brothers coaching. There's a mod that makes Superman Homelander. Oh, really? For for multiverses? I can't believe the, the modding community already got a hand on it. It's like so new still. But just be like me. Be super good at it and then you get super rusty at it. Oh, sorry. I play. I only stay good. Who is my favorite person here? Oh, Nico. That is that is a trap question. I can't answer that question without hurting anyone's feelings. So I can't answer it. But I want you to know that I think of every single one of my viewers every day. I appreciate all of you. I genuinely appreciate you for taking the time to watch the stream. Thank you so much. Hearts to you, chat. And even the lurkers, the people that don't type in chat, I hope that you enjoy the stream too. Anyways, I found a tip that said to turn off the viewer count. So I honestly don't know how many viewers we've had on the stream and it's just been a very, very good time not having to worry about that number. I feel like since the game's more about like community and getting what the community wants, they'd be really open to mods. Yeah, that's true. I think mod, I don't understand why more games don't have mods. Like think about it. Oh shit. Oh! Ah! Who's the most jacked person here? Mona. Mona's the most jacked person here. Oh, I, we're, we're like definitely doing what we're not, we're not supposed to be doing this. Let's go do something else. Anyways, I've been thinking of changing up, changing up the stream schedule. So I have more time to stream. So let me know what you guys think. I was thinking like, maybe we take it back another hour. We try streaming at 830, but I don't want to over promise and not be able to hold true to that promise. Dang, that's crazy, dude. The swole. The swole, bro. Oh, you guys need to stop distracting me. Uh, I need to place the furnace. Hmm. <clears throat> oh. Did we already craft the furnace? No, we didn't. When am I going to react to memes? Uh, probably from... Oh, probably to fool. Uh, I will probably be reacting to memes here soon. Yeah, you offended Streamlabs, bro. Uh, maybe next week. Na next week we can start reacting to, to memes. But that's why I started that memes channel. I was, I'm going to let y'all collect the memes in there and then I'm going to react to them in one fell swoop. Like have a day where we react to all, all the memes that we missed in the in the discord So just keep posting your memes in there if you want me to see them, okay, and then we'll do a react stream for him Hey got offended that you're too swole dude stream loves is like yo dude, please refrain from being so swole Guys, Gratic Phone, we can't do all the games in the same day. It's going to be after the Boston stream. So, uh, probably this next week. Don't worry. Don't worry, team. We don't have any plans for next week yet. I just want to try this phone out, this game out today. I don't know if I'll be playing it like super hardcore on stream. I just wanted to show you all. This might be one of those games I like play a little bit of my off time. But I know this game's multiplayer too. So, that'll be fun. But yeah, Gratic Phone. Gratic Phone is definitely on the schedule, guys. Yeah, that is an impressive feat in itself, especially for someone in 11th grade. It's a very impressive feat. Oh, we need to find a place. Oh yeah, we need to sell our bugs so we can have room for our, for our furnace and then we can win. Buy my bugs. Um, 
Anything else I need to sell? That's good. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that sounds good to me. Bro, I am an artist. I gotta curve my needs. Turn 25 pounds by this year. Watch me. Alright, dude, just make sure you stay healthy. Do it in a healthy way. I'm excited for multiplayer games. Yeah, dude. Multiplayer games are fun. I'm thinking a lot about which party games we can play on stream. But ultimately, I just want to make sure. Is Fall Guys? Is Fall Guys a game you guys would want to watch? Is that a game you all would be able to participate in? What about what do we think of Fall Guys? Side. You guys ever played Fall Guys before? I've never played it. You have on your laptop? Oh shit. There you go. Place the fruit down. Place a tin or. Oh shoot. Okay, now I need a tin or. Nice. Okay, now what do we do? Your Switch? You played Fall Guys on your Switch? I have my Switch right here. Yeah, I need a, I need a capture card before I can play games on the Switch. But once I have the graphics card, I can beat you guys in. I can I can whoop you guys in, in Super Smash Brothers. I need more meat. I need more food. Maybe we should pull our, our thing closer to here. Grass seeds. What are we gonna do today? Smash four rocks, saw six planes, cook two food. We accomplished absolutely none of that. Hey, don't go. No! You don't have it? All I need is Gratic Phone. Gratic Phone is a free game on the PC. It's on. It's a browser game. Well done, Leaf. You have proven yourself invaluable once again. I'll tell you what. I'll teach you how to craft a wooden crate. You're going to need a recipe for nails, too. I'll tell you what, Digital Leaf. Digital Garden is... Well on its way to being a great settlement again. The furnace and table saw we can start thinking about building more permanent structures. I'll tell you what, we should try and get John to set up a real shop here. How do we do that? Hmm. I reckon if we spend a bit of money at a shop, he'll see it's worthwhile. Oh, and we should show him friendly people are around and we should show him how friendly people are around here. Why don't you ask John if he has anything he needs done? If we can prove it to him, Digital Garden is a great place to move, I'm sure he'll ask to live here for good. Nails. Wooden crate. Okay. I don't play much games, but sadly my laptop can't handle much games. I I know a lot of uh, browser games that your laptop would be able to handle. Uh, where's John at? John, you better be at your freaking store still. You're obviously the one struggling the most right now. John, where are you? Freaking whore. Where, where, literally, where could he have gone? Like, where do people go? Oh, screw it. We'll just... Oh, he's right here. John. 
Today went fast. It's already the bloody Arvo. Got a job for me? Um. Sorry, I got the auto mod. Did I say allow? Oh no! I have a streamlabs is broken. Oh my gosh, twelve thousand! I don't have to sell more bugs. Oh, what was the job? Yep, I'm all good for now. Okay. Hey, wait, come back, John. Hello there, Leaf. Let's hang out. Ah, uh, Leaf, thanks for asking. The thing is, I don't usually hang out with people I don't know that well. Sorry about that. Dude, just freaking... How do you move in? What's new? Oh, you look a little down today, Leaf. Have you considered buying something? Oh my god, that always makes me feel better. You're buying something, I mean? Oh, dude, this guy just wants to sell me stuff. I don't want to be his friend. We're going home. Oh, oh, look, there's fish in there. Alright. Oh my gosh, I didn't know swimming takes up your energy too. Okay, it said to I need to extract ores. Am I going to my home? Oh, I have to cross the thing again? Ugh. Eat the banana. Oh, now I can run again. I like how in this game, when you run out of energy, you just like literally can't run anymore. And it also gets dark at six. Dude, how am I going so far the wrong way? Okay. Let's go. Oh, that's a different tree. Wait, how'd I drop it? Can I not chop down this tree? Oh, it's too big for me. Okay. Dude, where are the rocks at? We gotta extract some resources. The game tells me it's what I have to do. I think that's what evening is. I think it's just red because it's evening. I was wondering the same thing, eggplant. Oh, what do you need? I needed to uh, extract ores so that I could please my master. I mean, uh, I mean Fletch. I know they did choose a very weird color. What is my favorite game? Ooh, my favorite game? Um, my favorite game right now is probably Stray, to be honest. The game we just finished earlier today. So I guess you did miss, miss that, Nico, is we did finish Stray. Um, but we do have the VOD gonna come. I'll, I'll release the VOD on YouTube. Oh, look at that bug. So I'll, I'll post the VOD in case you missed it and then, so you can watch it later. And the VOD is just the replay of like the the, the stream. In case you were invested in uh, in Stray. Yeah, we finished it up. We were really close to the end. It was real sad. We cried. You gotta cook some fruit. Let's cook this. Oh yeah, we had to finish Lisa. That game was fun too. Dang, I wish I could move my uh, thing. Lisa mid? Lisa's good, dude. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, you're good, dude. I don't, I don't expect you to be on 
be here every day all the time. You can play games with your friend too. Very important that you play games with your friends. Minecraft's a banger, bro. Oh, I'm getting kind of tired. So what are all the games you plan to play? Uh, I can't name them all off on the top of my head, but this was one of them. Actually, I could because I do have them all, like laid out in a list. So if I wanted to, I, I guess I could, but we got to solve six planks. I think we got to go take this down to... Oh no, I need to do that. I've been wanting to watch One Piece. I, I want to start it. Oh, I need to watch One Piece. Thank you for reminding me, Nico. Oh. As soon as I get off stream, I'm going to start watching One Piece. That is the goal. Okay, guys? That's what I'll be doing on my two days off stream. I'll be catching up on One Piece. Yeah, I think it is time. The time is now. I have not seen One Piece since I was a kiddo. So I am very far behind and I need, I need to catch up. I'm out of the loop. I feel like I'm a fake anime fan. I can't call myself an anime fan until I watch all of One Piece. So, I will watch One Piece. I would do it on stream, but I would get in trouble. That would be that would be a banger watching One Piece all the way through together on stream. A marathon though. You don't watch a lot of anime? Why? Al <laughs> for real though. <laughs> Same, I just said I can't finish it because I watch it on Netflix. Yeah, I bought I have Crunchyroll, so I watch it on Crunchyroll. Because Crunchyroll is cheaper than anime or than the Netflix, but you know, I think you can watch a lot on Netflix. You should watch Evangelion, Nico. That's a classic. Nice. Is Chainsaw Man good? You guys hear my fart? <laughs> oh, it's not really your thing? Hey, that makes sense. I have I have seasons where I feel like watching anime and then like I don't feel like watching anime. It kind of just depends, you know? Crunchyroll is $7.99, I think. Oops. $7.99 a month, so it's pretty cheap. Compared to, you know. You don't, oh yeah, it's, yeah, Crunchyroll's free. I forgot about that. I, I pay for the subscription one. But yeah, Crunchyroll's free with ads and without ads, it's $7.99. The man is a chainsaw, dude. Oh, I should get more licenses. You only watch a few animes and read a few mangas? Oh, dude, if you're on your laptop, you just use an ad blocker for Crunchyroll. Bro, Hippity Dog, you have the big brain moves here, dude. That's big brain. <laughs> then you don't even have to pay for it. See, the problem is I watch it on my TV, though. Like, I I, I have the, the app on the Roku. So you can't skirt that. But, uh, there is a project you could do with uh, the Raspberry Pis. Like, the ones I have, I bought, like, 500 of. That you can create, like, a... Um, like a box that will bro block all the ads for you and like you don't need like an ad blocker specifically on your on your thing did you watch og naruto yeah bro i watched og naruto when i was uh, a kiddo when i was like in your grade i watched og naruto um so yeah i love naruto naruto is one is probably one of my favorite animes my favorite anime anime is probably, right now, is probably Attack on Titan. 
I love Attack on Titan. Banger of a story. Have you ever watched The Void? The Void? I have not. John is visiting the island still. Beautiful. What do we gotta do today? Sell three bugs, travel a thousand meters on foot, plant one tree seeds. What season are you on? Oh, the boys. Oh, the boys. I have seen the boys. I finished the boys. I'm all cut up on the boys. I love the boys. That was such a good, ep uh, good show. Oh. I'm on season five of AOT. Yeah, I, I'm caught up. I've actually read I read the AOT manga, so I'm all caught up on um, Attack on Titan. Honestly, a lot of the really banger anime I've seen are like one season long. One another anime I've been wanting to watch is Made Made in Abyss. My favorite character. I was actually about to ask you guys the exact same question. Uh, my favorite character in the boys is probably Starlight. I just like how she's a strong, independent woman and just like does not want to fucking take anything from anyone. You know what I mean? I do know how Attack on Titan ends, yeah. But I won't spoil it for y'all. It's a good ending. Controversial ending? I guess. It depends. It depends who you ask. Oh, I could get bones. This game is so chill. Hey, John. John says I just need to keep buying stuff. So I'm going to go pick up the rest of the... The licenses from our corrupt nanny. And then some people don't like the ending. Yeah, I can I can see why. I can understand why. Another another good anime that y'all should watch is called Doctor Stone. Doctor Stone's really good. I have the I have the manga series. Doctor Stone was actually the first anime where I read the manga before I read before I watch the anime. Okay. Did you watch? I watched a little bit of Comey Can't Communicate. I thought it was really funny. Whoa. Okay, I can farm. I can build a scythe. A grain mill. What do I need? Chooks. Yeah, there's so many animes. I love anime. You can craft simple bridges, metal detecting. Who's hunting? Oh, I haven't seen High Rise Invasion. What did you think of High Rise Invasion? Mob Psycho. I haven't seen Mob Psycho uh, season two. I've seen season one and that was good. And Odd Taxi. Oh my god. Odd Taxi was such a good anime. That was such a good story. Oh, High Rise Invasion is really good. It didn't get good ratings on my anime list, but I guess you can't really knock. You can't really judge a book by its cover. Oh, I got a tool belt license now. I guess I can just sell them all the spiders, right? I guess I can just recatch spiders. It doesn't seem like they're too rare. I try and mostly watch uh, anime uh, subbed, unless I'm like doing something. 
then I'll watch it dubbed. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Oh, the opening of Odd Taxi is so good. But yeah, so my my anime to watch right now is One Piece. Thank you. Okay. We need the fishing rod. Yes, I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, it's a shovel. The big spoon for dirt and stuff. I'll take it. Yeah, I, that's the one thing I don't like about, about Netflix is that you'll be watching an anime and then you'll like get done with it. You'll like get to a certain spot and then you'll be like, oh man, I, I need to go find a different, I need to go find a different place to, to go watch the rest of this anime. And I think I might be ending it here soon. I'll probably be playing for like maybe a couple more days. Um, and then, yeah, I'm not sure. What did I do? John, will you move in now? What do you want to chat about? I actually have a gangsta hat I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? I could let it go for... Oh, I want a gangsta hat. Heck yeah. Oh, let's put this on. Let's go, dude. Now we're, now we're a little pimping. I would like to do something on Discord Sunday. What kind of what would you like to do on Discord? What were you dreaming of? Tell me your vision, eggplant. The secret of change is to buy low and sell high, true? I probably should have sold you that information. Oh. Netflix does have the rights to high rise invasion, I believe. Alright, now I can plant a tree seed. With my new shovel. Put it right here. And... Oh. There you go. And then... Oh, wait. Just play Gratic Phone? Okay, bet. That's what you want to do on Discord? We'll play Gratic Phone, dude. Don't worry. It won't be today, but it'll be soon, okay? Um, it says to plant a tree. Gum nut. Oh, I drop it. Like that. Did you see that? Oh, I love Death Note. Death Note's such a good show. Oh, classic. Classic. Oh, we got them all. Entrepreneur, baby. Making that bread. Nice. Stumped. Yeah, you can just chop a tree down and leave the stump here. This miles are for getting rid of the little stumps that are left after falling a tree. You help anyone that help anyone that asks? That's a milestone for that. Okay. Here's a milestone for selling fruit. Okay. How do I convince John to move in? Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming for a little bit longer. Oh, I just finished Better Call Saul. Oh, I decided I really like it here, so I spoke to Fletch and I've applied for a deed so I can set up a permanent store here in town. How about I can move in soon? Yeah, we did it. I have watched Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul is a good show. We love Better Call Saul. 
Hello there, Leaf. What can I do for you? Let's talk about the town. Let's see. Oh, what exactly can I help you with? Can I see the deeds? Okay, here are our current deeds. The shop deed. Oh, oh dang! The tin sheet nails. Alright, let's do it. Okay, we're going to apply for the shop deed. Just so you know, this will put the town in. Okay, we don't care about that. Oh, don't worry, we'll pay it off in no time. There's no donation. There's a donation box here in the base tent. So, we're going to apply for the shop deed? That trap diplomacy, guys. She's trying to trap us in here. Once this plate checks the deposit box on the build site, we won't be able to start construction until we have all the required materials. So, the quicker we have everything we need, the quicker we get start construction. We want this. What a bat. A hammer. Windmill compatible. Mm. Palm wood plank. Palm wood plank. I watched a little bit of Kakaguri. I didn't really get into it too much. And what was the other one? Scissors 7. I have not seen Scissors 7. Is that based off of Kakaguri? Isn't like the same guy who made Kakaguri make that one too? Is that a beehive? Oh god. Wait, wait. Oh, we got the queen bee! That's badass. Oh, let's sell it to our friend John. I bet we're gonna be rich with this. We need... Palm trees, though. Huh? How can I help you? I want to sell some stuff. I got the queen bee, dude. Better s the boss bee can start a vibe. Just not selling that. Just kidding. All right. Thanks. No. Okay. If I if I had the chance to create a show, what would what would make it about? I would actually high key make it about the same stuff that uh, Stray was about. So it'd be like about um, it'd be kind of be like Steins Gate maybe, like Steins Gate, or it'd be kind of like it'd be a, 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 like a psychological thriller, kind of. I, I wanna I wanna make a show that would make people think, you know what I mean? I think we need to find a palm tree in the beach. So over there. I'm gonna go to the docks. Oh, wait. I think we need I did love Stray. That's not what I need. I need 10. Not these quartz crystals. Oh, this is what I need. This game is so lovely. Ah, uh, 
been working on the railroad all the do long day. Um, do. I want to leave all the natural foliage around, but I need to cut down these trees. Afterwards, we have to replant the trees. Because if we don't, that's how you get global warming. We don't like global warming here. Yeah, this game is so peaceful. I, these are my some of my favorite types of games are the ones that you could just build a town in and you could collect poop. How many games are there that let you collect poop? Okay, now we need a shovel. Because what we take, we must give back. Yeah, Stardew Valley is one of my favorite games of all time. It's so, so nice to play. It's also really addicting. Oh, yeah. Alright, this must be- this should be enough palm trees. They should- they should grow back now. I wish I uh, moved my house like over here. Oh shoot! No, I didn't mean to do that. We got some grass seed, I guess. We were date thing for the days. Yeah, we did. We need to repair our shovel and stuff. Butterfly. That's money. Oh no. Oh, we got it. See, you see bugs, I see dollar signs. Um, palm trees. And you, I need to put. All right, we're gonna start industrializing this, all right, team? Industrialization. You are the only one from Texas right now, so far. Hey, don't take my wood. In my wood. Watch out, Grammy. Give me that wood. Nice. Eleven. Nice. Okay, now we have some more wood to cut down. We're gonna cut all of our wood. One fell swoop. Oh, it requires five. Yeah, I think we have some ten. Dang, I want like another saw. So we can just do this double. And double time, you know? Kind of the same reason why I would want more, uh... You think I can move my house? Oh man, it's gonna take forever. Okay. I'm gonna 
place the store. The store's still gonna go over here. Hmm. The store will probably be over here. I, I want the whole city center around the lake. You know, the lake will be a nice touristy spot. Oh, maybe right here. We gotta terraform this. Terraforming in this game is hard, but we got this nice flat spot. We place this down. Right there. Yes, it is. Oh. Actually, it's not, but we can fix it up. Shuffling. We want to even it out so it doesn't look ugly. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then. up want this um, let's put the fern seed here About to pass out. Oh, there we go. Doesn't this look much better? Well, now I don't have any food to make it back home. Oh, but I do have honey. Ah, uh, yes, place items. I need nails and I need this. Place them in. Place these in. Okay, now we need nails. Nice, we got that. We 
can make this. Oh, we need the nails though. I don't think we need that that bad. Um, one more of these. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, so I'll mix her. Oh. Wow, look at that. I have so much stuff. Um, I'll go cook some food. We have to go back home. All right. Man, this game is fun. Um, we will go to sleep after we have completed, or while in the stream, after I've completed the, the house for for John, for him to live here. Okay? Um, and to do that, you guys see this? We can hunt down our first creature. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Dak. Hunt or be hunted in this world. We have a prayer for the for the for the deer. Deer kangaroo. Deer kangaroo. You will sustain our body with your flesh. Your sacrifice will not go in vain. You give us the lifeblood we need to grow big and strong. Thank you for your gift. How would I rate it so far? Dude, we have to give a prayer for the deer. We have to kill it. It's a great circle of life. The game so far, I would say, is a 10. It honestly is pretty unique that a game is able to hold my attention for more than two hours. So, there's that. Oh, wait. We have two. Alright, now we're cooking. Oh, now we can cook meat. Twice as fast. Let's go. My longest live stream so far is uh, maybe four hours. That's why I've been trying to... I'm, I was asking you guys if you thought that it'd be cool if I uh, streamed longer or had longer streams. In case you wanted to watch me for longer. Uh, I didn't say 10. I can't give it a score yet. I'd give it... A seven so far. Sorry, I realize I need more rocks for um, to build more campfires so I can bit, get more food. You guys see that? Look, we can cook. Look how fast we can cook food. I think we can. Oh shit. Look at that. Idea one on many ideas. If I were to make a TV show, just make these main characters rich, spoiled brats, demon and demon pissing and stuff funny, a gangster made put boulders in stone and a zombie go will they do i don't know it sounds like it's been made already dude and and i know what you're thinking like there's no way but bro they've made some really crazy ideas like they've accepted some crazy stuff like for animes dude like, I feel like someone has a major idea for, for a TV show in, in the form of an anime. Look at that. No. For sure, dude.
Okay. We woke up and we know the one thing we gotta do is figure out how to get Johnny Boy to stay here. Bro, they, they green light so many crazy animes. I'm for sure. If someone hasn't thought of your idea yet, they're at least for sure in the in like the drawing room for your idea. Dude, it could be possible, man. They they have some like dude, it could be. Dude, I'm just saying, dude, like I don't know. It sounds like it could actually be an anime. You're tired, Nico? Yeah, I'm getting tired too, bro. Um, where do we put the dude at? Oh, I know. Okay, we need to go get more licenses to figure out what we need to build. Oh, I know. I know what I need. I know what I need. Yeah, I agree. It sounds like something you definitely hear. Uh, I need more licenses, lady. I need more licenses. Oh, no. Allow the holder to expand the tool belts by one. Um, which one of these do I need? This one, I guess? Okay. Trapping. Okay. Uh, I'll just get all of them, I guess. I can make a quick path. Down steps. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of steps. Dang, this is a lot. This is what I need. Maybe. Building license? Palm wood bridge. Hard wood bridge. Dumb wood bridge. Break road bridge. Okay, that was absolutely useless. I need. Oh, these are all weapons. by cutting table tin bar on a table saw oh okay we need tin and we need a new pickaxe okay, let's get the pickaxe first because this is about to expire and okay, we almost got our house built for our dude um, we just gotta find some tin Yeah, I need it. Yep, I need it. Okay, I'll take it. Very good. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Nice. Nice. Now we need 10. Or some. Oh. Idea. Two demon for... For real hell wants to redeem himself and he is tested throughout his quest like a like will change up a time period. Oh that sounds pretty dope actually. Wait, isn't that just Demon Slayer? I haven't seen Seven Deadly Sins yet. I didn't really like it whenever I did watch it though. Nothing against the anime, I just maybe there was something I didn't like personally about it. I know it's good though. I know a lot of people have good things to say about it. I just personally wasn't able to get into it. Okay, we 
grab tin. Got termites. Right, right. We are over here. Yeah, that's understandable. Hey, but the more you type, the better your grammar is gonna get. You know. Okay. Oh, that's where the other bug was. You type a lot, it's still garbage. Uh, read more books, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Write more sentences. I think it might be more like just writing stories or something. I don't know how you people get good at grammar, honestly. How, how do you like how do people actually get good at grammar? Like, do you practice it or something? Like, how do you practice grammar? Oh, Nico, you can go to bed, man. I'm just trying to find one more tin. We're basically done. Yeah, look at all these rocks. Yeah, I'm starting to yawn a lot too. So, I'll uh figure out. Oh, there's. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, dude. Should we help? Oh, it's too late. Oh. Hey, come at me. We're not scared of you. Oh my god, we're, we're a little scared of you. Dude, anyone has a capacity. You should try blogging, dude. Good night, man. Oh shit. Dude, I won't die. Look at that. I told you, bro. Who's close to death now, huh? Look at that. And I kicked, and I got some poop. We can almost get a car, guys. We get the vehicle license. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all this ten. Oh, this isn't ten. Gosh dang it. Where are the quartz at? Oh, right there. So that's kind of expensive looking. So I guess it's... Damn, look how much quartz is over here though. No alligator sandwich. You guys ever played Slime Rancher? This game reminds me a little bit of Slime Rancher. I don't know why. Oh. Um, okay. Is our thing done? Yeah, it is. No. 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 Oh! <laughs> the 
freaking alligator. Yeah, this game gives me uh slime rancher vibes. Yes, place items in there. All required. Yay! Yay! Oh, there you go. Alright. More licenses. Okay, I have a thousand. So we're gonna get the tool belt license. And we're gonna get the wait. I want the handling license. I want to raise chickens. Oh, I can build a bird coop. Hell yeah. Now we're talking. Maybe this one. I think this one expands my s slots. My car, my inventory. Oh yeah. Okay. Man, how do we only have two copper left? Oh, is that copper? Hell yeah, or tin ore? Hell yeah, dude. Right, I know I said I was uh, getting tired, but this game is really addicting. Oh, a shiny stone. All right. We want to get all this stuff and we want to move it over to where our house is. I think playing Among Us would be fun too. I know one of the one of the people we raided was playing Among Us and plays Among Us with their viewers re oh, frequently. So if they can do it, we can do it. Oh, dude, this fire! Oh shoot, dude. Damn, this thing hits hard. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. It's a man eat man world out here. Survival of the fittest. Oh. That was intense, guys. Okay, what do I need to craft the cable? Ten barred nails. There's something over there. All right, we're just gonna finish the day and then we'll call it. All right. Oh, that's not tin. What the heck? Oh, I forgot. We can go get a. I think we can go get a fishing rod. Oh, we have a fishing rod. Shoot. Shit. Total Drama Island, dude, that's a good show. Wait, how do I do it? Oh, I see how to do it now. Oh 
man. We're learning how to fish. That's what's happened. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the heck? Oh, oh. Oh, shoot. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got it. Oh, ho, ho. Next fish. Next fix, fix. Fish plots. Here we go. Shit. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, we got his attention. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No, no, no. Ah! This is hard. Come on, fish. Here he comes, here he comes. Watch, watch, watch. I baited him over. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, here he goes. Come on, patience. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, we're so close. Come on, fish. Come on. Oh, we got it. Oh. Okay. Uh, we need nails. Um, shoot. Um, we need more tin. Tin is so hard to find. You do have good ideas, eggplant. I like your ideas. What's this? Oh, nice. Was that was that a phone? A smooth slate? So nice. Hmm. I don't know what else to do. Uh, I guess we get to find 10. Let's just keep finding 10 then. Until it's time to go to sleep. We have so much energy. Oh, there's there it is. Easy peasy. There's four player chess. I did not know there's four player chess. How do you play four player chess? Oh. Do you think I can have enough for one more? I need to eat something. Either gets the most points. Oh, okay, that seems pretty easy. That we have some like crazy rules, like 40 chess. There's a thing that's called 40 chess. Do you guys know that? I have, a friend, I have a friend who's really into math, and like, I guess 40 chess is one of those things that you're really into if you're really into math. 
All right, now it's time. It's only 5 p.m. We gotta go stack up some, uh... Can I eat any of this? We need food. What's this? Croco meat? Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, 40 chess is like... It's like chess. But it's like 3D. And there's like a fourth dimension to it. And the fourth dimension is like time. Crazy stuff, dude. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Hey, Grandma. Grandma, move out of the way. Oh, I I think I... I, I yeah, I did mean 40. 40. Oh, like the number 40. No, I meant 4. D. Is it D? I don't know. I want this. You see one tin bar. Oh, we want both of them actually. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> you guys all know what 40 chess is? Damage sponge. Craft three items, dig up three dirt items. Nice. Right. We want these things, but we want them over at our, in our area, so that we have to come here every day and do it. I also need a, somewhere to cook. All right. What are you doing? Good day, Leaf. What did you need? What's up? I'll tell you what, as more people move here, the more it starts to feel like the digital garden I remember. I'll tell you what, if you keep working hard, digital garden will be a place everyone wants to live. Hopefully. That's the goal. Dang, guys, we've almost been live for four hours. How did it turn into 12.47 so fast? Time flies when you're having fun, dude. All right, there it is. That's what we need. That's what's holding us hostage. Now... Crafting table. We want a cooking table. Nice. 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 You see that? So many achievements. Right, now we have to come to the old lady's tent every time we want to do something. Like how I'm like too tired to run, but I can still jump higher than Mario. That's a cool looking bird. All right, we're home. We are home. Okay. I'll put the cooking table right next to my fish. Put this there. And we want to push this next to my fish. Let her know who's boss. Oh, look, meat on a stick. Didn't you mention that earlier? Meat, stick. Whoa. I guess I can't throw it in there. I have crocodile meat though. Nice. 
All right. Let's sleep. All right. We're new hunters. We killed two. Oh. Yeah, we leveled up once. Oh, leveled up twice. Dang, dude. Oh, we earned no money though. <clears throat> oh, dude. Yeah, no. I just, I, I decided I'd pick it up tomorrow morning. Look. Ready now. See. Real master. Harvest 20 apples? I haven't even seen one apple. Smash four or rocks, okay. Oh, we gotta smash these. They're not ore rocks, but they're bugging me. We got one tin ore from that. I missed. All right, guys, this game's addicting. I need to get off <laughs> and get some sleep. I have work tomorrow. But um, tomorrow there will be no stream, um, nor on Thursday, and it's a toss up on Friday depending how I feel before our vacation. I honestly don't know what day we leave for Boston, so I should probably figure that out. But, uh, but yeah, um, fun things coming up, So, but no stream this, we'll, we'll figure out what the stream's going to look like this weekend, but since it's going to be looking a little different than usual, um, we'll just play it by ear for now. Oh, thank you for food. Uh, yeah, dude, it's been four hours. It's crazy, huh? All right, all right. We're slowly inching over closer to our goal. For now, let's let's look for someone to raid. Who are we raiding this time? Oh, I need to get out of this. It's a desktop. Oh, 10 more minutes and it would have been four hours. Eh, it's okay, don't worry. We'll hit four hours eventually. We don't want to burn ourselves out, you know what I mean? Um. Okay. All right, we are going to send you over to my uh, a good friend, Pep Talk, which I just met yesterday. But we are going to raid them. Um, let me manage my stream, and then I will be sending them over. Y'all ready? Oh, you guys are you guys got in fast raid now 